Welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to show you how to set up the WordPress menus. Now, once you've logged into your dashboard here, we want to go to appearance and menus. Now, once you've imported the demo data, you're likely already to have the menu imported, but you will need to select it. But what we're going to show you now is how to set it up from scratch. So this is given that you have created a few pages and you want to create the menu that you can sort and customize it a little bit more. So we're going to call this main menu. Okay, create. We're going to then select main menu and we're going to save. Now what this means as soon as we've created it, if we reload the uh, front end, we're going to see that we have no links. And this is because we've not added any pages to the menu. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we have the pages here on the left hand side. We're just going to go ahead and select all of them. And we're going to click Add to Menu. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and save the menu. And reload again, just have a look and see what it looks like on the front end. And so we have our pages here now. Now you may want to reorganize them. And what you can do is you can simply drag and drop the items as such. And you can also rename them and give them a title attribute. Now, the great thing about this menu, menu editor here is that you can also add sub items very easily. So if you want to add custom links, you just go to the custom link section here. We can add that. Such, we give it a label. And we add that to the menu as well. Now it's always going to add, add at the bottom of the menu, but as I said before, you can drag and drop it. So we're going to go ahead and add that as a sub menu item to the about us. And we're going to add Another one as well. So I'm going to show you how to create these sub menus here. So we've now created three custom links here that um, their sub section of about us. And then we're going to create a second level sub menu here. And we're going to go ahead and add that to the custom link number three. So once you set up your menu, you've organized it the way that you want. You've given the right labels and links. Just remember to hit save. Reload the front end to have a look at what it looks like. We have the sub menu here, and we have the second level sub menu here. And that's pretty much it for managing menus. Uh, you can play around with it a little bit to see all the things that you can do. Thank you.